Hey cuties, welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm going to do something that may become regular but currently there is nothing regular on my channel. Uh, so today I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing. We are at home, we are trapped in and if now is not the time for me to pull my finger out my and get this done then I don't know when it is. So this channel is going to be half about fashion and beauty and lifestyle in general, weird spookiness and also a bit of cutiness. But it's also going to be um, half a channel on my journey to a happier and healthy Ness. And Happy Healthy Ness has been around and she's kind of in there somewhere but she needs a bit of a push and kick so there'll be another video some point this week explaining what's gonna go down there. If you're here for the fashion and the makeup and the general lifestyleness, you've come to the right video. If you want the fitness and the food, then that'll be in the next video. If you want both, hey, thank you for joining me. So let's get into it. Today's video is me finally trying out a brand that loads of people love and I have followed for such a long time but I've never actually bought anything from them. Um, I guess I've always been a kind of that's cute but I can make that cheaper or I can go to a certain shop, a generic huge big brand and kind of get something and customise it and make it similar but I decided because I've got some spare cash this month because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not spending any money on food. Out. I'm not doing anything with my friends apart from, you know, a little face call here and there. So I figured I'd spend some of that money on something that I've wanted for a while. You know when you see Instagram and it's like, hey, hey, and you go, okay, let's do it. So. I finally bought myself something from Killstar. That's upside down. Killstar. Hey. Um, I bought three items. There was um, some money off. I think most websites have a code nowadays, if not every single day. And honestly, I'm not in the realm of buying much full price. Uh, I don't see the point. Brands are going to put an offer on, be it three for two or 20% off, etc, etc. So wait, just wait. I guarantee you that what you want will be there. Unless it is some kind of special item, don't wait. Just wait, hold, hold, hold it. I see you, wait. Okay, so I think I got like 20% off, something like that. So I bought three things. Also, can we, can we just get the packaging? So cute, so cute. Are you one of those people who also cuts past the re-sticky line? You know, when there's that re-sticky to send back. I always cut that off, always. Don't ask me why, I just do. So the three things I got were a dress and that is Lillian Lies dress. I got the Dominia mesh tunic because I love a tunic top and I also got the one thing that I have had my eye on for so long. This was the main reason I went to buy something um, and that was the Unlucky backpack. I love a backpack. I think I own about 10. Um, you know, normal backpack backpacks and then tiny little backpacks and tiny tiny little backpacks and cute little backpacks and I just love a backpack. So let's see what they look like. Let's start with the first thing that's on top which looks to be the tunic. <laughs> just so cute. So cute! So here is the top. Um, it's as I expected, a square. So it's just a square mesh top, kind of see through it, 
stick my hand in there. And it kind of tapers at the bottom to hang. Um, and you stick your arms through it. I think it'll look cute. It, I got it in a XL to double XL. Um, I'm unsure of, of Killstar's si uh, sizing, so I will try that on, see what it looks like. Next we have the Lillian Lies dress. Again, I got this in a double XL, not sure on the sizing, um, but it is a cotton kind of, almost, yeah, it's just a cotton dress. And it has, it has buttons all down the front and it's not as A-line as I thought it was gonna be, maybe. Um, and it's got a cute little um, ribbon collar and a little kind of ruffle, you know, like a faux bib style front um, with a high neck um, that folds down at the back. And it's got stretchy sleeves. Now I'm glad to see that because I don't know, like, holler at me, but when dresses size up, they tend to forget about the arms some of the time and I end up, you know, trying to squeeze a sausage through mm, No. So hopefully that'll be a good size. Um, it's got a bit of stretch to it, which gives me hope. We'll see how this looks. And this, this is the Beast of Resistance. I have had my eye on this for ages. It feels kind of sturdy. So this is the unlucky back part. Oh, comes in a cute little back cover. We like that, we like that. So this is Killstar Cult Luxury on the front of it. And I'll slide that down. It's got a little bit of tissue paper on it. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, just look at that. How cute. It says, make every day Friday the 13th. And then on this side, it's got nutritional facts with little symbols, which I guess would be the symbols that you would get inside the cereal, if only it existed. Um, ingredients, goth flakes, curses and hexes, sweet disharmony, black colour, hashtag 666. That is so cute. Um, so it's got two handles on the side, one on the back here and two at the bottom. So I'm going to assume you can use it as um, like a, a shoulder bag as well. So just undoing it usual in a, in a bag material. Ah, okay. So there's one strap, two straps, three straps, and this one's got a chain on it. And these two are just um, like faux pleather. Gotta love these. Gotta love these. Don't eat them though. It's got two little pockets on the front, kind of like mobile phone pockets. Does anybody put their mobile phone in there? No. And a zippy pocket at the back, which is kind of a standard size. Hopefully you can see in there. And a little label, little zippy pockets, and normal pockets. It's cute. We are the weirdos. We are the weirdos, Killstar, you're right. I think that's gonna be annoying, but you know, it's cute, so I can forgive it. At least nobody will be able to break into your bag. That is a good thing on weird bags like this. So let's see how the straps fit. Oh. So cute. And the straps 
are adjustable and they also swivelly so it doesn't you don't have to worry about getting it the wrong way around. Um that's really cute. I actually like the length of that. I like a high up backpack. I will probably not really wear it as a side bag. Um I'm not really into that anymore. But at least when I lose my love of backpacks, if ever, I will have another strap to be able to pop it around. I mean you could always use one of these and just but it's cute, you've got the option. Next up, I will try on the tunic, the mesh tunic, because um, I can just put that over what I've got. Now, looking at this, I'm thinking, maybe it's a bit big, but do you know what? That's okay. Um, what do you think? I think it's a bit big. Um, I'm just gonna go look in the mirror. I'm not mad at it actually. It is a bit large and I could probably do with a maybe a size smaller. Um, but like I say, I wasn't sure on the fit um, of the sizing of Killstar. Um, you always get mixed messages. Um, but honestly, while I'm feeling like I'm feeling over stuff like this that I'm still a bit touchy with how um, like my lack of confidence has just gone uh, this would be a cute cover up because you can still see my, my cute little um, play suit jumpsuit underneath it but you know it's giving me a bit of swoosh swoosh and a little bit of swoosh swoosh moment so next we'll try on the dress here is the dress. Um, first thoughts is cute. Um, it's quite lightweight, so it would be a great summer dress actually, because it's quite light cotton. Um, but as I was unpopping the poppers, because these were poppers, not buttons, uh, one of them clean came off. Um, it's down here, so I'm not going to show you while it's on me. Um, so that that's a bit disappointing, because this was thirty-five pounds and I don't expect poppers to be falling off for a £35 dress um, but it's cute, it's uh, just above knee length um, let me step back so you can see that just above knee length um, so yeah, it would be a great cute summer dress it is, like I say, lightweight and cotton the detail's really cute you would have to iron it though, I can already sense that and the little bow is cute and you can take this off if you want and you can't really see the little holders that it, it holds itself in place with you can swap it out for different coloured ribbons, different patterns, that would be sweet um, yeah, it, it's gonna go back for me, especially because one of the poppers is broken um, right in the uh, most appropriate place uh, but it is a cute dress, shame Such a shame about the Lillian Lies dress, so I'll just show you what I mean. Um, that's the studs that hold the other part of the popper together. Um, just clean came off in my hands, as you can see. That's what it should look like. That's what it does look like. Should, does, should, does, should, does. Um, so I'll be sending that back. Um, but I am... Um, really happy with my unlucky backpack this is absolutely gorgeous and though i could change the size of the tunic i'm pretty happy with it also just thinking um i know a lady who makes great alterations on clothing uh, my mama um and she would be able to hopefully uh pop me some little holes where the body fits um so I can maybe tie a belt through it when I'm feeling sassy um so that's staying that's cute um that that's really really good but I'm gonna send the dress back which is a shame thank you so much for watching cuties if you've liked this video then give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing I promise you there'll be more things coming along really soon um and I hope you have an amazing day or evening wherever you are and um yeah just keep scrolling through YouTube. Scroll. Go on. Scroll. Scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Click, click, click. You do that.
Come on. I'll let you. Come on. Bye, guys.